how important is mental health uh, of employees in in the indian corporate sector how important it is in the context of the boardroom and uh, to talk more about this we have a very interesting guest here with us well known actor deepika padukone deepika how uh, often do you speak to indian corporates about you know mental well being of their employees and do you feel that that's an important factor as far as their bottom line is concerned um you know i don't speak to um, i haven't had the opportunity actually to speak to too many corporates um and i will be honest in fact there is not much interest uh you know in spite of the staggering numbers of people in uh, in the corporate world who experience depression um i see that um there is not m- much in my experience in the last 2 or 3 years of wanting to uh, bring the conversation of mental health to the fore um or even if there is i think it is like a you know a one off sort of uh, situation mm. i think whether it's in terms of um, you know uh, in terms of reach whether it it's in terms of uh, uh, what i think an organization can uh, provide right. to its uh, to its employees um, i think a lot more needs to be done and can be done we are speaking in the context and the backdrop of a technology conference like nascom uh how was the response like you know you had the country's top technology ceos here uh, yeah. what was the response like you feel to that i always feel like people um you know there there's always a very very positive sort of uh, feedback that i get after some of the ses- sessions that i do on mental health because i do know that people you know there is either a sense of identifying either someone themselves have experienced it or they know someone who has experienced it um but i understand that you know there is so much stigma there's been years of stigma that's been attached to mental illness um so even when people ask questions um it's sort of uh, they're sort of guarded um or they you know pretend to ask on behalf of somebody else when it's probably actually their own issue um but i appreciate the fact i think an event such as uh, you know such as today um you know i think just validates the fact that um they're open to uh, to discussing uh mental health and mental illness right and also uh, in the context of when you uh, speak to uh, people across the board you took a quite a bold stand when you came out talking about this as well and also your own experiences uh, do you feel that there is a much more recept- uh, you know people are more, much more receptive right now than probably in the initial days when you spoke about it and you also wrote about it as well yes i do see a change um and i'm very happy to see that change i mean that was one of the intentions of why i came out in the first place and um when i see the change i know that you know whether it was me sharing my story or the work that my foundation is doing uh you know it it gives me the confidence that we're on the right track right even your foundation uh, the live love laugh uh, foundation what is it that you're trying to uh, or hoping to achieve through this foundation what kind of work is this doing we obviously in the last 2 uh, or 3 years have been working uh towards destigmatizing mental illness um we want to create the awareness um we want people to know that there is such a thing as depression that it is uh, curable that it is preventable um and that is that that it is okay to seek help mm-hmm. uh, for for someone who might be experiencing depression that it's okay to seek help um it's okay to take medication and to know that you are not alone mm-hmm. um one in five people will experience depression once in their lifetime and it is uh the next big epidemic to hit our country right. and um i think it's important for us to recognize this to identify i mean identifying we have i think it's important for us to take this very very seriously and um whether it is destigmatizing whether it is uh encouraging people to seek help um i think all of that needs to be done right you also s- often said you know uh, being sad and being depressed are completely two different things uh, can you explain that for the benefit of our viewers as well well i'm not uh, you know i'm not a technical person so i don't think i'll be able to explain it as well as say a counselor or a psychiatrist would pro- pro- be probably uh, able to explain um but having experienced depression i know that the feelings are very very different 
I think sadness is um, maybe in a way momentary. Um, it's a different sort of feeling. Depression comes from the pit of your stomach and uh, frequent breaking down, lack of drive and enthusiasm. Uh, I mean, I'm sharing symptoms that I went yes, through and I maybe think. it's different for different people, I'm mm. not sure. Uh, but basically the lack of drive, lack of uh, uh, motivation and uh, just constant breaking down and not feeling like doing anything, you know, right. life sort of seems meaningless after a point. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think if you have these sort of symptoms for, for two weeks or more, I think it is recommended generally that you seek uh, help or you see a professional. Right. A final question, you know, uh, it's kind of considering the high pressure environment that you work in, ahead of a very important project or ahead of a very important release like, you know, what we saw in the case of Padmavat, uh, how do you de-stress yourself? You know, do you shut yourself from social media, from people writing and talking about various things? How do you de-stress and, and what's the kind of advice that you would like to give to people who are in similar environments? <laughs> well, I enjoy the time I spend at home, honestly, uh, whether it's with my family or friends. Um, sometimes it's just cleaning. Right. I think when I, you know, when I clean around the house, I feel, uh, I find that extremely relaxing and therapeutic. Um, I watch movies, uh, I eat, um, you know, various things. I go to the spa, I listen to music, I catch up on sleep. Um, yeah, various things. Deepika, pleasure speaking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.